it's a one-footed phoenix. There are many times in life when you might need help, but you're used to being the giver of help. Today we'll be talking about the fact that it's okay to accept help as an amputee. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to thank you, the Phoenix family, for getting me up to a thousand subscribers this week. It's such an amazing accomplishment and I'm so thankful for everyone that has subscribed truly from the bottom of my heart. As an amputee and as a person who went through CRPS, I really had to adjust my life to getting used to being the person that's accepting help instead of the person that's always giving help because I was very much such like a giver of help before I got hurt and so it's been quite an adjustment. Sometimes I still have a really hard time accepting help from others because sometimes I feel like there's other people that deserve the help more than I do and so that can be a block for me trying to ask for help. Accepting help is not a sign of weakness but it's a sign of self-love and strength. Accepting help can be a sign of self-love because you are saying like, I know that I can't really do this on my own and so I need help to do this specific thing. Realizing that you can't do everything on your own can be super scary, but it doesn't always have to be. Asking for help can actually lead to better quality of life when you realize that, that you may be down for days if you try and do something by yourself. And so asking for help with that task or whatever it is that you need help with can actually lead to a better quality of life for you so that you're not down. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness or a sign of failure. Asking for help just means that there are certain things that you realize that you can't do on your own. Speaking of asking for help, I know someone, my Phoenix family, that could use your help. So many people helped me out so much when I had my amputation to be able to buy a wheelchair ramp that's in front of my house. The wheelchair ramp has been a huge blessing to me in my life because I didn't realize that I would be in a wheelchair as much as I am. And I thought, you know, that I'd be able to use my prosthetic a lot more than I'm able to right now. And so having the wheelchair ramp allows me to get in and out of my house very easily and the money to buy that wheelchair ramp came from donations from other people. So I am very thankful for that in my life. You guys all helped me so much to be able to buy the wheelchair ramp, so I know that you can help Bri kick cancer out the door. Just go to helpbrykickcancer.com. I'll leave a link in the description down below as well so that you can go there after you finish watching this video. But you can go to that website and you can read his whole story and you can learn how to get involved with their fundraiser. You can also donate from the website. So I would highly encourage all of you guys to make a donation or to somehow get involved because even if it's something just really small, it can make a really big difference for him and his family. And I know how much little donations really added up in my time of need and I know what it's like to need help as well. And so I encourage you guys to consider giving just even a small donation because that would be so amazing. And when you do, let them know that One Footed Phoenix sent you and it will put just a huge smile on their face to know that One Footed Phoenix sent you over there. What I really wanna tell you today that it's totally and completely okay to ask for help. You know, sometimes when we ask for help, we feel like we don't want to be a charity case or we feel like we don't want people to pity us. And that can be the case whether you're an amputee or if you're my friend going through cancer. But the reality is that asking for help can make you a whole lot stronger than you are right now. And asking for help allows others to come and bless your life. And if you never ask, then sometimes people have no idea that you need help. So. It's so important that you ask for the help because sometimes you never know who can show up and be the hands of that help. Sometimes I know that it's easy for me to get really frustrated when I have to ask for help because I feel like, like 
oh, I should be able to do this by myself. And like, I should, I should, I should. And it's really easy to get stuck in those shoulds of I should be able to do this myself. And the reality is that humans are not made to do everything themselves. And so when you go about trying to ask for help, realize that it's okay to ask for help. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, my Phoenix family, for watching this video all the way through. It means a ton to me as the creator, and it also means that I can keep making videos like this one for you guys. I still need a little bit more watch time, so I'd definitely appreciate it if you leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and if you subscribe. I also would greatly appreciate it if you would share this video with a friend so that we can help Bri's case go even farther. If you would like to see another One Footed Phoenix video, click over here, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you! Bye!